It's that time of the year again when thousands of teachers, students, and parents gather together for a very special event, and that is graduation. I'm sure you are excited, but are you making ready for receiving your diploma on stage? If not, then follow me. So you can do your foundation first and then apply any kind of nude eyeshadow on the whole eyelid as a base. This is the safest color you can use, but to brighten it up, I'm dusting a small amount of Stardust eyeshadow from Virginia Olsen on the center of the lid. Next, deepen the crease area a bit with a blending brush and a small amount of brown eyeshadow. This color I'm using is from the Kaleidoscope palette from Dollface Cosmetics. Using a smaller brush, take the color down to the lower part of the eyes as well. If you want your eyes to look brown and simple, don't take it too near the inner corners. After that, take an even smaller brush and dust the darker brown and shadow on the outer V and on the crease to build more depth. Now line your eyes with a water-resistant eyeliner. I'm pretty sure most of you will cry, so please don't use liners that can be smudged easily. Curl your lashes and put some mascara, then with the brows, if you want soft looking brows, use powders, but if you want it sharp, use a brow pencil first, then fill it in with Brow Perfect from Look Beauty. And then set it in place with a brow gel or mascara. This one I'm using is from Dollar Wink, and I believe this is a dupe for the Big Al Brow Set from MAC. I just want to keep it simple so I'm done with the eyes and now I'm putting this peachy blush from Caroline Cosmetics on the side of my cheeks. If you want to look young, keep the color to the apples of the cheeks. Now with the lips, I'm choosing bright pink colors from the Dollface 66 Lip Color Palette and basically layering them by applying a thin amount and then just powder it slightly and then add another layer rather than blotting the excess with a tissue. I'm almost done, I'm just using the same Ben Nye powder with the Virginia Olsen Total Face Brush to set the makeup so that it stays in place. If you think bright pink lips are not for you, you can mix colors. I'm applying this orange or nude lipstick over the pink, and this turns into a coral shade that is more neutral, if that is what you prefer. So I hope this quick and easy tutorial can help you with your graduation makeup dilemmas. Congratulations and I wish you a wonderful journey ahead. Goodbye!